What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. Since I'm about Nightmare on Elm Street here in this video, aka also the franchise that the that is home to the horror icon of Freddy Krueger. So some new development came out earlier this week or late last week regarding the potential trajectory of where we can start to look as it pertains to Nightmare on Elm Street as a movie coming or something else but i want to start from the very bottom of what we've been getting since late 2019 before i get to the newest update so that way what i'm talking about can kind of have a more cohesive continuity to it so in september of 2019 bloody disgusting first reported that the rights to a nightmare on elm street and freddy krueger as it pertains to the original film that Wes Craven wrote and directed those rights had reverted back to Wes Craven's estate and then three months later in like November or so of that same year or like two months later I guess at that point Bloody Disgusting also exclusively reported that the Craven estate had begun working on resurrecting Freddy as they are actively taking pitches for a new Nightmare on Elm Street film or for a new Nightmare on Elm Street, I'll just say. Not a film or anything. It wasn't specified. They're just taking pitches for a new Nightmare on Elm Street. And they stated that while we don't know exactly what the estate's plans are or if they have any distribution financial deals in place, we have heard that they are looking for both feature film pitches and also concepts for a possible HBO, HBO Max series. So the thing about this is there's already a deal in place that we know exists for warner brothers and new line cinema handling any international stuff but that doesn't mean that the craven estate has to i guess necessarily do the domestic distribution through warner brothers because the last one from 2010 was distributed through them with new line cinema attached as the production company because those two companies merged around like 2008 i believe but the recent report that came out today is that warner brothers is said to be negotiating being able to retain the domestic rights to a nightmare on elm street as well as many other ips so does this indicate that the craven estate isn't actively trying to do a movie with them as a domestic distributor or is this a part of whatever negotiations are still going on as it pertains to New Line Cinema, Warner Brothers, and the Craven Estate talking about letting Warner Brothers distribute the new movie. Because the Craven Estate could just not want to do a movie with them attached to it domestically for whatever reason. Um, and as far as just like what this means, it doesn't mean that off the bat you have a new movie necessarily coming. It doesn't mean that we're that much closer to a new movie either, but it's i'm indicating or taking the assumption that they don't want to do a movie with warner brothers for whatever reason domestically because all the stuff in the inner workings of copyright laws and you know infringement and ip owners all that stuff all the ins and outs of that i don't have a clear grasp on it as a whole but i know that bloody disgusting had been breaking a lot of reports going as far back as late 2019 that explained that the craven estate was already taking pitches for a feature film potentially or something that would be a series going to hbo max so for whatever reason if they were to do a feature film they they could still always accept a pitch and then try to sell it to a different distributor but maybe this does mean we're closer to a new movie or something else actually happening but we still don't have a clear concrete answer as to what is going on with this ip it's just like the latest interesting development since 2019 after learning that the craven estate gained the rights back after so many years had passed and it it was able to go back to the original creator who at the time of course would be Wes Craven and his estate so with that in mind if they were to do another movie would they take on the requel idea would they just do a direct sequel to the original film and set it many years later of course they'd probably recast the character of Freddy Krueger Robert England could still come back in some fashion i don't know how they can make it work other than of course using a lot of technology that we have available to make that possible 
to make it work but they could always recast the role i know i've seen people talk about richard brake being in the role kevin bacon being in the role and as far as just what the narrative would be i know elijah wood has come out and stated that they would love that he would love to explore this franchise at one point and i'll leave a link to all three of these articles in the chronological order so that you can see the cohesiveness of what seems to be the most interesting developments about freddy krueger and nightmare on elm street going as far back as september 2019 when we learned that the craven estate had gained the rights to the character and that film now they've been actively taking pitches um i think that they still are actively just trying to decide you know what would be the best direction to take with this franchise because there's so much to consider the fact that robert england you could potentially bring him back but would he want to reprise the character what do you do at this point considering that the last i guess canon film to the original ip timeline was freddy versus jason and that was all the way back in 2003 do you do anything in relation to that or do you just ignore that uh do they are they even capable of doing anything that's not a sequel directly to the original movie since that's the one that Wes craven directed and wrote or will they just have to work with you know doing a sequel to that movie meaning a requel i guess at this point or coming up with a completely different iteration of that same movie uh but, but i guess just another modern remake i feel like a lot of people would prefer to have a requel that brings back the character of nancy uh with heather langenkamp back in the role somehow and if you have to recast freddy i mean that's i guess that's fine but i think a lot of people would also want to maybe see a sequel to the to the 84 film explored that's maybe set still in the 80s of uh, it's set in the past you bring in a new cast and just have a different actor playing freddy and see how that works friday the 13th and nightmare on elm street i know these I, these franchises haven't been really producing a lot of content for us lately and a lot of us are starving for it i mostly want to see more freddy over jason any day but let me know what you guys think about this development about warner brothers trying to retain domestic rights to the to the distribution of this franchise in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video